So in Sonic Pie, me and my partner Paige decided that we wanted to make um, spa music. Since her sister recently had a baby, she wanted to make something that would put her to sleep so that she would be able to sleep. So we um, found something that was soothing, um, the sample Ambiglass Hum, and we um, amplified it to chew and made the BPM really slow so that it would um, put you to sleep. All right, let's hear it. So you gonna what? What is your code? Um, my code is basically like a small little mini game where um, it sets up a timer for sixty seconds. You have to kill as many zombies as possible. It basically shows you how many zombies you've killed. So it, it counts down and then it tells you how many zombies you killed at the end. So you made your own game inside of the game. Oh, and I see it's counting. It's counting up how many zombies you've killed. So my code tells me if I were to die, it would tell me where it is in what position, like coordinates wise. So if I were to die right here, where we spawn, I would type in there in the chat, and it should tell me the coordinates right there. Oh yeah. And so why why is that useful? It makes it useful so I can recover this stuff without having to try and search for it all over again and trying to restart. So it lets them run back to, to the stuff they, they lost. Yep. What is locate? Locate is the uh, variable that says wherever I am at that certain point in time, it will save it from where I am when I have died. I'm a lot on the river. All right. And basically, to what? make our code, we do with FX reverb, synth, live loops, and rams. All right, so who'd you make the code with? Randy and Lauren. All right, and you are? Sorry. Um, our code is like a birthday month, so whatever month your birthday is, if you type it in, it will say if you are winter, spring, summer, or fall, baby. I was born in November, so try it for me. So BM 11, 11 is for November, right? So you're a fall, baby. Cool. I made a code using the song Lavender Town from Pokemon Red and Blue. So these three are the basic melody of the song. This adds to the background of the song to make it sound scarier. Cool. This is the drum beat in the background, but these two are randomized every time they play. Oh, I see. So you let it choose between three different uh, drum samples. So the drummer kind of does different stuff all the time. I made this code, it's an if, then, if, and type in cookies, one, and this happens. Put in cookies, two, or something else, and oh, nice. it teleports a player, it teleports a player, um, and then some squid with water coming down, filling the hole. <laughs> So it teleported the player down to the surface below you? Yeah. And then it puts squid inside the water? Yeah. That's then, awesome. So I'm Frankie. Um, I'm Lucas. All right. Yeah. And this is our uh, TNT wall thing. Type in the chat clear, then you type in a number. The variable. That's a variable. And what is the variable control? Um, uh, How much it spawns yeah, in. The amount. Yeah, the, am get. the amount of TNT will fill within that one area. Cool. So it gives you a wall of TNT. Really big wall of that. <laughs> yeah. Usually when you use this, it lags your game a lot. Maybe crash. These villagers are gone, man. I'm Kennedy. And I'm Kennedy Bowden. And this is our Sonic Pi B. So what's this first part? So our first part, this is our melody. And we chose the John Legend me melody. And this is our drum melody. And it can pick which, like, beats to put in with the drum, like how long it, it lasts or, like, stops. I have the, the tree chopper. All right, let's see him chop down a tree. Hi, I'm Alexis. Hi, I'm Amaya. All right, what is your code? Our code is an online code. 
Okay. Where that if you type in my it will be agent, it will mine down to bedrock and it won't like go past that. So you type in mine. Why are you? Doing? Cool. So he basically digs down and down and down for you. <laughs> How does he know when to stop? I guess he knows when to stop before like the last blocks of the of the earth. So this says he's allowed to keep mining as long as his height is above one. So that makes sure that what doesn't happen. That you don't go out the map or the world. So make sure it doesn't go out the bottom of the world. Yes. Cool. Oh my god, he's useful for once. <laughs> All right, Dylan, what's your project? Me and my friend Christian decided to make a code, a code for Sonic Pi, where it would recreate the famous Nintendo Easter egg song, Jataka song, but we'll remix it more. Cool. So tell me about the different um, sections that you guys have. What, what do each of your live loops do? And we use those, the live loops, to keep looping the same drum effect over and over again. We chose a random note for us to use during the song. Drum sample? Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. It's very awesome. All right, Tyler, what'd you do? I made a code where if you build a house on the surface, like here, but say you're in a game with your friends and they just keep uh, attacking your house, where you can move it underwater. So first type in the chat, uh, start at the top corner and go to the opposite corner of the house to the bottom corner and type stop. And then you can fly around and find a place that you'd like to put your house, like around here, you can put copy, and then oh. you have the underwater. So it's almost like you're putting a selection box around the house and copying it, yeah, and then, then, and then it pastes the it on there. There's no water inside. <laughs> That's awesome. Let me see the code. What, what are the red things in there? Uh, the variables that say, like, if this gets set, it sets the world position. Um, when the copy is, it'll clone it from start to stop wherever you are. Cool. My name is Alyssa Flowers. What are we looking at with your code? So right now, this is the beginning part, which is like basically the pre-chorus of mm -hmm. the song. And this just basically plays this loop over. And then there is this one part where it plays all the bass chords for a few beats, like two times. And then when we scroll down... Um, it'll come in and it's a more fuller sound because it plays two different ones in two different synths at the same time 